Hey guys, Kyle Hansen here. We're back for part two of how to travel with a compound bow. What I've got here is I've got my waterproof, crush proof SKB double bow case here. Um, it's a double bow case, but I would never use it as a double bow case. I use it for a bow plus accessories and anything that didn't fit in my primary bag. Um, I like it because it's spacious. I think this one goes to 40 inches interior or interior measurement. It's got two layers. It's got this layer of foam here. And uh, I also bought this separate. This is the SKB arrow case and how this works is you can see that fits together like that. And then that goes in there. That's how I travel with both my compound bow and my arrows. This fits a dozen arrows, it's pretty slick. I got both these items on Amazon. Pretty self-explanatory there. That's where the arrows go without broadheads. Broadheads go in their own little case. Um, what I've also got over here is I've got my release pouch slash repair pouch. I've got my broadhead case, these are my iron wheels. Um, any sort of broadhead or anything sharp that can cut your string, period, anything that can cut your string needs to go in its own case, container, preferably a hard case, something like that, um, and then a range finder, and my Allen wrench that I'm gonna to use to break down my bow right here. I've also got a full SIF gear layering system that is gonna be used to pad the bow inside of here. Um, this is just a apex system, pant, top, and uh, some gloves, couple hats, um, Kelvin Light Active Puffy, just something basic that I'd use this spring. Um, I'm probably going to use it turkey and bear hunting here this year. Um, and then up here on a hanger that you can't see, I've got my bow. So first things first, we got to break the bow down because it's not going to fit in here like this. I'll show you. This bow, I've got front and rear stabilizers on it, I've got the sight on there. It's not going to fit in that case. So, like I was saying in my last video, I like everything to be real quick detach. Break everything down. And this is all about efficiency. After you get into kind of a routine or system of taking it apart, putting it back together, it gets easier every single time. I'll have to go ahead and run this guy back in on the black bolt mount so it doesn't fall out because that would be quite the ordeal to lose that one set screw. Maybe I should carry an extra one. Um, and this guy is going to need to go in the case. So uh, my personal preference is to have since I run a limb driven rest cord, um, I like the limb cord facing up. That's my personal preference. And I like the cams facing back in towards the back of the case. So it fits in there nice like that. Um, hmm, with that quick detach mount, never mind. That's actually going to go in there like that. So that way, let's see. That's going to go in there on the top of like that. Test fit. Yep, it closes. Okay, cool. So that's going to go in there like that. You always want to check for binding. Okay. Yep, we're going to want to do it like that. Alright, so first thing I like to pad is I like to grab a couple decent sized items like, oh, let's say an Apex hoodie. I'm going to wrap that around the cams. Take the pants, wrap it around the other cam. Oh. I like to leave that arrow case in there. That way I know how to space this stuff out. Oh, maybe shove something in between the limb pockets there in this case. Um, so now. The bow is relatively secure as it sits right there. Um, 
And like I said, I'm not putting two bows in there, so this is just gonna stabilize that here later on. But now I've got this, uh, these other accessories that I wanna put in here that need to be padded as well. So, oh, let's see. Got these nice socks, you can run stabilizers in. I wouldn't want to put them both in the same sock just because they'll, I don't want them to get scratched up. I'm kind of OCD about that stuff. So, the sight is a pretty important component, so I'm going to want to wrap that in its own shirt, position that in there. Um, in such a way that it's not going to get bounced around and that it's kind of wedged in there nice. Um, let's see, got a nice little range finder here. Just throw that around a piece of underwear or something like that. I'll put my Allen head back in my repair and release pouch. Go right there. Mm. Say. Broadheads. Let's just go ahead and double bag that one. Don't want those guys floating around inside the case, but I do like to run them in the same case, just in their own case, in with the bow as well. Oh, let's see, where do you want to fit here? Right on top of the stabilizers. And then what I'd like to do at this point is I'll just start uh, I'll just start shoving clothing in areas to help kind of take up any dead space. Um, anything that I don't want rubbing, like say for example, I don't want the string rubbing against the back of the case. So I'll take some of my little accessory layers, put a little more insulation behind the cams just so I don't have that string rubbing up against the back of the case, wearing the piss out of that. Uh, um, and then, what else we got going? Got my puffy here. That can kind of take up some of that dead space there. This is ready to go in. Almost forgot a hat. Um, a lot of times I'll go through, it's just depending on how much dead space I still have, I'll pull things out of my primary suitcase and kind of tuck them in here and there nicely. Um, and then one thing I like to do, I have a little emergency contact form that always sits on top of anything that I use to travel. So make sure this guy fits good there. I just don't like to wedge stuff in there too awful tight. Cause I really, I really don't want to put pressure against my rest and bend anything. Um, the QD mount is what sticks up the most here. That's what we got going. So that's fine. So go ahead and make sure that's not binding. to the races so this bow has foam all around it it's insulated it's not going to slide around the string is protected everything sharp is protected everything for the bow that I need to hit the ground running is protected and marked with reference points um, so yeah we're good to go this is the system that I've been using for the last year and a half now it works pretty good there are smaller systems, more compact ways to go about this, but this is the method that I prefer because it's most bomb proof. Um, there are ways to use your large luggage as a bow case as well and wrap them in clothing, but I mean, this way has just always worked for me. So hope you got something out of this. And like I said, this is my way of doing it. There are other ways, but this is the one that hasn't failed me. And I've been to Canada, Colorado, couple other places, so.